One of the biggest obstacles to overcome is your own thoughts, holding you back, telling you that you aren't good enough. This is called imposter syndrome, a term coined by clinical psychologists Dr. Pauline Clance and Suzanne Imes to describe feelings of inadequacy and the fear of being exposed as a fraud in your chosen area. Imagine an astronaut who wears a spacesuit and has had years of training, but when it comes down to it, feels that they're unable to perform their role of maintaining the spacecraft. This feeling is really common in academia too. You may often feel like you don't know enough to be accepted by journals or publishers, that you haven't got the authority to speak on your area of research, let alone teach others about it. It might feel like you're going to be caught out at any moment, but most people feel like this at one point or another. It can be hard to see this though, especially with external pressures such as social media and hearing so much about other people's academic successes. But recently, a Princeton professor published his own CV of failures and opened up a dialogue of how common failure is. And how being open and sharing all of our experiences, good and bad, can stop ourselves and others feeling like imposters. To find out more about imposter syndrome, as well as strategies to overcome these feelings, take our online module.